is there a fetch ai killer coming up you know fetch ai has been one of the most talked about projects in the ai and blockchain space for a while they basically combine artificial intelligence with blockchain to create these little digital agents that can make decisions uh, they can trade data and uh, they can also perform tasks automatically their token which was originally the fact token is now part of a new alliance with the singularity net and kudos uh, they formed what's called the asi token which is a universal ai token that is built under their super intelligence alliance but now there's a new project that's that is catching a lot of attention that is called intel opera and its token ioai and honestly when you look at what they're building it is fair to ask could this really be a fetch ai killer so let's start simple fetch ai focuses on ai agents that act independently they help automate things like logistics travel or smart city data uh, intel opera is also built around ai agents but they're doing way beyond that their idea is to build what they call a neural operating system basically a whole decentralized platform where enterprises developers and even regular users can deploy their own ai agents they can share computing power and they can use ai tools directly inside the ecosystem so fetch ai is mainly about connecting agents that can talk to each other uh, intel opera is about giving companies a full infrastructure to build to host to scale their own ai systems all of it is powered by the ioai token now what makes ioai really interesting is its token design every time someone makes a purchase on the platform one person of that transaction gets burned that means those tokens are permanently removed from circulation which creates scarcity over time and it doesn't stop there every time ioai is used inside the system for example when deploying agents using gpu power or accessing enterprise grade ai uh, features that same burn mechanic applies again so basically the more the platform grows the more the token supply shrinks it's a deflationary design that is built directly into how the ecosystem works and on top of that the liquidity is 100 percent locked which gives more confidence to the community because it reduces the risk of any manipulation or rug type events and they're planning a full audit with the hash code which adds another layer of transparency and intel opera also has something live already the ioai chat which is like an intelligent assistant that runs on their neural system you can actually ask it questions about decentralized ai you can talk about blockchain or even the platform itself and it gives real responses it is currently in beta but it is already showing that they're not just talking they're building now here's where things get really interesting fetch ai has been building for years and they have a strong developer community but intel opera already claims over 127,000 active AI agents across 45 different industries, 3.2 million network nodes worldwide, and 89 petaflops of decentralized GPU compute power. They've already raised $17 million in seed funding from top-tier venture capital firms like Anderson Horowitz, Sequoia Capital, and Paradigm, and they're working with 47 Fortune 500 clients across 85 countries. That's a lot of traction for a project that is still in its early stages. And when you look at their roadmap, you can tell that they are building fast. The core protocol and smart contracts are already deployed. Their main at beta and agent marketplace are rolling out. And the public token event for the IOAI is right around the corner. Future updates include decentralized governance, global GPU expansion, and AI agent deployment that can adapt and learn over time. All of that leads to one thing more usage for the ioai token and remember that every single time that is used one person is burned and that's why people are calling it potentially a fetch ai killer because it's not just a concept or any experiment anymore it's an entire infrastructure with built-in deflationary economics another thing that is worth mentioning is the community side intel opera emphasizes that it's community driven ecosystem as more users join and use the token, its overall value structure strengthens naturally. It's not a speculation, it's about usage. And because every transaction, deployment, or resource allocation burns a portion of tokens, the system rewards activity and adoption, not hype. 
Plus, the founders are fully doxxed on the main site. You can check their backgrounds, their education, and past experiences. Something that gives Intel Opera an extra layer of credibility in a space where anonymity can be a red flag. And just to keep things responsible, this isn't a financial advice. Always do your own research before making any decision. But from a purely technological and economic perspective, Intel Opera looks like one of the few projects trying to bridge enterprise AI with blockchain in a meaningful way, not just selling buzzwords, but actually giving businesses tools, compute access, and AI agent deployment capabilities under one ecosystem, all of which is powered by a token that has real utility and built in deflation. So is Intel Opera really the fetch AI killer? It might be too early to say, but when you look at the numbers, the token design and the scale that they're building for, it's hard to ignore what they're doing. IOAI might just be one of those strongest tokens to watch in the decentralized AI space right now. So do keep it in your radar and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one shortly. So stay tuned.